Hello, my name is Jim Ani, and I am a Regional Manager with eSwitch, and welcome to part four of a six-part series of how to select a switch. There are two main categories for attaching a switch to your product. The first is panel mount. If you choose this option, you have to make a few decisions. One decision you need to make is the size of the panel cutout that the switch will go into. The second decision you have to make is the thickness of the panel. Once you've made those determinations, you then have to determine what type of termination you want. Do you want a solder termination? Or do you want a quick connect termination? The second main category for attaching your switch to a product is printed circuit board. Once again, if you go this route, you have to make a few decisions because you have a couple different options. One option is a through hole switch where the leads of the switch penetrate or go through the printed circuit board. The second option is surface mount where the leads of the switch stay on the surface of the printed circuit board. If you go the printed circuit board route with the surface mount option, you can either go with a J lead where the lead comes underneath the switch or a going termination where the lead of the switch spreads away from the center of the switch. The last consideration you need to make when determining how to attach a switch to your product is whether or not the switch may come in contact with any liquids during the manufacturing process. If this is the case, you may want to consider a process sealed switch. For more information, please go to our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and please give us a thumbs up on this video. Thank you.